guys it's andy and today i don't have anyone to film my riding lesson so the story goes so i'm gonna be doing a tack cleaning video i have to get my tack from the barn but i also have my saddle and an old bridle that are here as well plus all my riding boots and then i'll also be washing all my riding blankets so stick around for an entertaining cleaning video So I definitely underestimated how cold it is today. It said it was gonna be 50. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, so it's only like 38. And I just have this little Ariat sweater on and I'm freezing. <laughs> I still have another hour till my lesson. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm really cold. I might just go back and sit in my car. The season has begun. Oh goodness. Look at this. Oh. So those are all of the saddle pads that are coming home with me today. I'm going to have another one of these because I'm going to use it for Mia. I'm so happy I get to ride Mia again today. There's very few horses that I like for lessons, so I'm pretty excited. And yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of dirt and grime going on in here. Not too bad on the cobwebs, but I'm definitely going to do a clean out. All right, well, I swept her out and... Uh, Looks pretty good, taking all the blankets home to wash and taking the saddle. All right, guys, so I've got a ton of my saddle blankets here. They are all pretty disgusting. So what I'm gonna do first before throwing them in the washer is I'm going to vacuum them because you should not put all that hair into a washing machine. So let's go ahead and get vacuuming. <laughs> later and as you can see all the saddle pads are beautiful and clean and ready to go back to the barn so first things first i'm going to clean boots so i have my tall show boots that i ride in every once in a while like i did today just to make sure i don't have a bad leg when i wear those versus my paddock boots with my half chaps and then i have my mud boots that just really need to be washed especially after today it's so nice outside but all the snow is melting and it's been raining this week, so it's just a complete mud fest. So this is my cleaning supplies for all my leather products. So I have uh, some saddle soap. I like the sprayable kind better. I also have oil, which I keep paper towel in there because it's just like this bag is disgusting. It's just like covered in oil, um, along with some paintbrushes and toothbrushes because I use those to get in the cracks. 
very rarely do I oil my saddle or any of my things because you oil new leather to make it supple and then you continue to clean and condition it as you use it. If you over oil, your saddle can just become like really grimy and it can also just kind of like lose its shape, which is, you know, you don't want that either. You just want nice supple conditioned leather. And then I also have, I don't even know what this is. Needs feet oil. That's my boyfriend's. I don't use that. And then this is my favorite. The Pasiolata Balsam is uh, from Germany and I love it. This is my saddle conditioner. So I will definitely use that on my leather products as well. And then I just have some old rags that we keep washed as well as a little sponge. <laughs> what I'll do is after I dry off the boots I will go ahead and clean them with saddle soap and then I will condition them and put them back where they belong contrary to popular belief uh, water is not like terrible for leather if you take care of it so like when my boots are disgusting and covered in mud like saddle soap's not gonna cut it so a little soap and water doesn't kill if you follow up by cleaning with leather appropriate materials and then conditioning the leather so it doesn't dry out. And it gives you a much nicer, cleaner boot. So then I take a rag. I'm a lotion freak, so I put lotion on my hands all the time. Don't mind me. And what I'm gonna do is I just spray right on the boot. Not a lot, you don't need a lot. And then buff it out. And that's what's nice then too, is you don't have to worry about getting in the nooks and crannies with like a toothbrush or anything like that because you've already gotten all the dirt out of the crevices by using the water and the sprayer. You can use a hose at the barn. If you ride in them often, I would not recommend allowing them to get wet on the inside just because in the summer they'll get moldy. And if you're gonna use them tomorrow, they may not be dry yet. So everything with caution. All right, so then I come in with the leather balm, which is really hard to open. So this is what it looks like. It's like Vaseline, but for leather. So if you like Vaseline or I'm a huge fan of Aquaphor, anytime anything's wrong with my skin, throw some of that on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly buff. I'm going to make sure I get the leather piece that goes into the snap because we want supple. And I put a little bit too much here. So I'm going to work it down the boot. Get into the crevices. Take a little bit more. Buff on the next side. All the way up the back, all the way to the front. I don't do the underside, it's not necessary. It's just gonna get dirty and you'll collect a lot of hair and dust if you have this on the back or the underside of your boot. And voila, it's beautiful. We do the next one. A little bit too much, so we'll kind of spot it around, rub it in. I do have boot trees or boot holders, whatever you want to call them, within my boots so that they don't lose their shape. Get all the way down to the front of the boot 
the crevice there. Take a little bit more. And again, come up to the front. And then you just go back and voila. Beautifully conditioned. You don't ever want to put too much on because then they'll get really disgusting. Just enough to protect the leather. And that's it. All right, so now we can see they are beautiful. I will buff them out with a dry, soft cloth before I ride in them next, just to get any excess conditioner off. But I would say those look pretty darn good. And you always do the bottom the best you can. And that's it, let's move on to the next pair. These have like a lot of crevices, so making sure that you get all of them. I don't know. I'd say those look pretty darn good for a pair of boots that's, you know, over three years old. It's pretty good. As you can see, the saddle looks nice and clean. It's a couple years old. Uh, so I just wiped it down with saddle soap and then I followed up with the uh, later balsam and I washed my stirrups in the sink so that my pads were nice and white, which they're still kind of yellow, but that's okay, they're really old. And that is what I do to clean my saddle. Always important to remember to clean the underside. I think a lot of people forget about that. So don't, don't forget about that. Thanks for tuning in guys for another video with me. I'm really excited to keep putting footage out. I'm excited to report that one of my videos officially hit 40 views, which I didn't think would happen for a really long time. So I'm really excited about it. Like, comment below if you have questions or if you have a type of video that you'd like me to post more of, if you want me to post more lessons, more get ready with me's, more tack cleaning videos like this one. So let me know your thoughts down below and also subscribe, you know, share these videos, share the content, support your fellow equestrian YouTubers and I will see you next time.